Hey guys, so today we're going to be opening this Mimikyu box. Um, by the way, this has already been opened just because of the fact that I was actually pretty um, scared uh, that it was priorly opened by um, whoever, like, Amazon, like, had it because it was so easy to open. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see... But there's literally just one line of glue, and that was literally the only thing that was holding it together. That one little line. So the fact that when I opened it, this was the only tear that happened. This little tiny tear. So, like, if I wanted to go and take all the cards in here, and all the code cards, and totally, like break open these packs, get the inside, put all the cards that I don't want in. Um, obviously, I wouldn't be able to keep the um, main card here or the pin, but like, if I wanted other cards, this would be perfect to like vandalize and stuff. So, not great of a beginning because um, it was kind of scary uh, to think, but I did go online and redeemed that one um, code card in there. So I'm pretty sure nobody did it. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> um, so sorry to start this off with a bad note, but it was pretty scary. So let's just open this up right now. Let's put this on top of here. Because, uh, yeah. Let's hire this up a bit. Because. Yeah, I have my sleeves ready here from the Sigalio Elite Pack. Um, just in case we have some cool cards. So let's open it slightly. Don't want to everything's falling apart. So <laughs> that's an awesome way to start things. So let's just take everything out. Creating this code card. Um, and the pin. Because the pin looks super cute. Let me see if this will actually focus on it. So it looks pretty cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it or if this is actually going to go into one of my giveaways that I have going on down there as a random Pokemon item. But um, we'll see to that later. Let me re-put this in here. Because and oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, there we go. So the plastic thingy is back in there. And we have a Sogalio Sun and Moon Pack. Primavera Sun and Moon Pack. Oh, things fall. Okay, and a Fates Collide Fennekin. So, um, if you guys want to see the awesome Mimikyu card, it looks so cool. Because the actual Pokemon isn't um, foiled, just the background. So it looks like it's a bit 3D, even though it's not. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. And if you guys haven't seen Stranger Things, um, the actual background of it looks like um, the, the upside down world. So, it looks pretty cool. Like, those branches actually look like vines. And the little dots in the sky look like those little snowflakes that would just like go down all over the... Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about Stranger Things, but whatever. Let's put that over here. And we're going to start from newest to oldest. So I'm going to start with actually the Sogalio pack. Because even though Primavera and Sogalio are actually uh, the same um, base pack, 
So, um, I actually just picked Sogalio because that's like the newest Pokemon that you see. Like, if you play the game, Sogalio would be the last Pokemon you see. Quote unquote. Like, you would see Primavera first before you see Sogalio. Again, can't open packs because I'm a dummy. Okay. I give up. I'm going to be doing this. There we go. Okay, so it opened. Okay, so the code card to the side that you guys can win. And one, two, three, four, I think is the actual um, thing here. And we start out with a water energy. So if you guys don't know already, I am a water fan. Um, totally a water trainer in totes. Like, that's just me. Um, so let's continue. We, off the bat, have a... Team Skull Grunt Trainer card. A. Why do I feel like this is. No. Okay, this is Pessimion. And then a Great Ball. A. Bomb Sweet. Psyduck. By the way, I have a cool um, Psyduck slash uh, Golduck and Misty and Brock a uh, little snip on my channel so if you go back a bit there's a video it's like 15 seconds and it's pretty funny so I would go watch that and then a Lin. Um, even though I am a water fan I was literally thinking of picking Lidden as my starter but then again I'm a water type trainer so I ended up picking um, Pop Leo then we have Cosmog. Cosmog. And then we have Rock and Rolla. A. A Rangaroo. Which we actually got both um, the Sun and Moon exclusive uh, Pokemon here. We have Pansimion, which was the um, Sun exclusive, and we have the Orangaroo, which was the Moon exclusive. And then let's see if we got something good underneath here. Just a regular rare Crab, Crab Mola, Crab, oh my god, Crab Nabomble. I really can't say that name. I can't say its name, but um, the Orangaroo reverse foil is still pretty cool. So next pack is the Primavera Sun and Moon pack here. So let's get to opening that one. Let's hope this one's a bit easier to open than the other two, than the other one. Uh, nope. Still pretty hard. Grr. Okay. Open that right up. So again, putting the code card to the side, you guys can totally win that. Um, I actually just did the giveaway right before this, so um, you should go check out if you actually won last week's um, giveaway. One, two, three, four, and to the front. And we start off with a Psychic Energy, which Psychic Energy always reminds me of Sabrina, the Gen 1, um, the Gen 1 trainer, I mean, uh, gym leader, not trainer, well, also trainer, because gym leaders are trainers, so, I know, the gym leader, and that whole scene, so, um, we have... Grand Bull, Metapod, Lily, Dratini, which is my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, by the way. Um, then we have 
Sandy Guest, Morello, Morella, Morello. Then we have Fomentus. Yeah, Fomentus. We have Sunskirt, which I would always try to get, by the way. Um, when I would be playing the video game, I would always try to get Sunskirts because pretty amazing. Then we have a reverse foil uh, big masala solid and we have a foil sharp pedo so I actually like how this looks because it's pretty cool it's like underwater like he's jetting away it's just pretty nice. So I'm actually going to be <laughs> putting this in a sleeve here. So let's put that to the back. I'm actually going to put Mimikyu in the sleeve too. Uh, here. Doesn't want to go in. Okay. There we go. Again. Mimikyu. Upside down world of Mimikyu. And now we have Fates Collide, which was actually one of the Pokemon. Oh, this actually opened pretty easily. I just kind of like pulled at it and it opened a bit, so that's pretty cool. Er. Grr. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, if you did, I guess that code card is gone. Two and four. Why does this feel so weird? Oh my god, this card feels so weird. Did I do one, two, three, four? Why am I feeling... Okay, so um, I felt something. Okay, so there's an ultra rare here. Oh, it's one, two, three, cause it's a Fates Collide. Okay, so I felt it. Um, <laughs> we're starting off with a um, double colorless energy, cause double colorless is awesome. Now I really just want to get to the back, cause I know it's something awesome. Um, we have a, a Sincion, which was pretty cool. I always try to get these two um, in the black and white. Then we have a, what is this? I've never seen this card. I actually want to know what it is. Um, de-evolution spray. So, devolve one of your opponents, one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolved card on it into your hand. Okay, so you would just devolve your Pokemon and um, the evolution card would actually go into your hand so that's pretty cool um, then we have Conti which you saw in the beginning of the opening this Larvitar which I only have one in Pokemon Go which I'm still pretty upset about I still haven't gotten Tyranitar from any of the raids because there's no Tyranitar raid near me like I don't know whatever let's continue Fullaby, which by the way, if you don't know, this is actually one of the um, Sun and Moon, like exclusive to Sun or Moon. I think this is actually exclusive to Moon, by the way, and it's evolution. So, and then we have Fennekin here, and we have a Whimsical and a Reverse. Um, Smonking, which if you don't remember what um, this uh, Pokemon is, if it stops bouncing, it dies. Like, it's so sad. If it literally stops bouncing, it dies. It's so sad. So sad. And then the awesome card that I felt before, like, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's figure out what it is, because um, slightly. Oh my god. 
Does that look like it's colorful or does that not look like it's colorful? Is it colorful? Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. I thought it was one of those like. Okay, so it's a Genesect EX uh, full art. Which I was like, oh my god. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, drive, change. Once during your turn, uh, put a Pokemon tool card attached to this Pokemon into your hand. So, um, you could change tool cards if you need to, which is a pretty cool ability. And also, it does 100 plus damage. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy card discarded in this way. What? Discard as many metal energy attached to this Pokemon as you'd like. Okay, so that's not pretty bad. I actually wanna... Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I actually... It's so... Okay, so this is obviously getting a sleeve. Whoa! So, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys like uh, what I ended up pulling, which is actually two cards for three packs, um, which isn't bad, and plus the foil promo for Mimikyu. So, actually, the pull rate from this isn't bad. So, I would actually go out and get a Mimikyu pack, even though it's, like, late. Like, really... It's an old, um, pink collection box. But Mimikyu has been, like, the most amazing Pokemon yet, so I would totally do that. Uh, so, we got a bunch of cards. And we have, we're gonna go through these awesome things. So, the first card we ended up pulling was Mimikyu. The um, foil promo that comes with the box. And then we have Sharpedo, which is a foil card too. And then we have our full art um, Genesect, so that's pretty cool. And again, uh, Stranger Things, y'all should watch it. This looks like it's the other side, um, the upside down world. So, um, totally go check out that and see you guys later. Hope you like this video.